What we confess about the Lord's Supper is that one should not partake of, of the Supper until they have been examined and absolved. So what is that examination supposed to entail? And maybe one of you pastors out there can help me. Maybe we do have like a more clear confessing description of this, like as in it's in the, the book of Concord. What we mean by examination, but my understanding is that doesn't mean, can you tell me about the two natures of Christ? It means, have you examined your sins and are you repentant of them? And have you been absolved by someone who holds the office of the keys? And that until you do that, until you're able to do that, you shouldn't commune. And certainly, I am not saying that means you don't need to know what communion is, the body and blood of Jesus, and with under the bread and wine, given for us Christians to eat and drink, right? I got to memorize, man. I got to memorize. So, but like, we got to know that. But do we got to know that to the extent that we don't know the other thing? Like, which should dominate? What, what should be the dominant thing in confirmation? Should it be memorizing facts, trivial pursuit, Bible style? Let's play Bible trivial. Let's play Lutheran trivial pursuit. That's confirmation right now. It, it is. Don't don't get mad. It is. So is that it? Is that what we should do? Or should it be the spiritual examination of these young individuals in order to discover whether or not they are Christians? <laughs> Golly, that means you don't need a class. I mean, it's got to be one on one. Oh, isn't that interesting? So then, when see, and this is where parent involvement is so huge. So you need parents to actually be teaching the absolute basics, like, oh, it's, it's Jesus up there on the altar, and we're going to go eat him after you confess your sins because you're a sinner, right? Um, that has to be part of the life of the house in some way. So then, what do you do? But see, no one's ever going to let you stop the class. I think the class is hurting. I mean, this is kind of where I'm going, and this is I'm talking out loud. So please. You're in my inner thoughts. This is not a public paper given in order to prove a point, right? So just ease off if you're getting all upset. I think the class, no matter what you do, no matter how good you are as a pastor, I think my class actually gets in the way of confirming them in a real examination. And the reason for that is because their introduction to being adults in the church by that class turns their view of Christianity into trivial pursuit. It turns it into something they're already cogs in the machine of, which is Dewey Eye education, segregate the ages, move through by age, regardless of whether you know it or not. You're all going to go out and be workers in the, in the factories. And we then turn Christianity into that. And they're tired. They're tired of school. They're tired of overworking. They're stressed about whether or not they're going to get the good grades at school. And now they got to do this other thing on top of that. They're being pulled every which direction. They really would like to go watch TV or play video games or do whatever else that's more fun. They're high on sugar all the time. And that means they're sad all the time because they're down all the time because they need more. And you get the cycle going of that. And then they have to go into this room. Well, when are you going to do it? Sunday afternoon, Saturday morning, wherever you're going to do it, it's going to be in the way of their life. Regardless of what the parents think, it's in the way of their life. You shove them in this classroom and the pastor gets up there and he waves his hand a bunch and he dances around. He gets really energetic and says a bunch of big words. And you remember some of them. I think it's hurting. I really do. And I don't think I'm a bad teacher. I mean, and no pastor does, but uh, I'm trying really hard to be a good teacher. And my conviction now, after 12 years of doing this, the classroom's the problem. 